We're at the uh, our uh, corrals where we do probably 70% of our work in the fall and the spring. Uh, we've developed these corrals uh, to make it less stressful on the sheep and the lambs. Um, we've adapted them to the needs of what we've uh, tried to accomplish over the years. Uh, we've changed this a lot. <clears throat> we, um, we bring our sheep in from the uh, northwest corner here. Every, every, every herd comes in the same place. And then they, uh, we make a circular motion. It's just the way that the sheep like to flow. So we've made the gates, uh, we've changed the gates around and all that. So <clears throat> the sheep go through their natural flow and there's no, uh, uh, no adapting to anything. We, we just try to make it less stressful on the sheep and we've figured out where the sheep like to, uh, to run. So that's why these corrals are adapted to the way that uh, we are at this position. <clears throat> we come in from the northwest corner and we make a big circular motion with the sheep and they come down uh, and they come up through our working chute here and uh, we've adapted the chute so that we have uh, four or five different pens in there so we don't uh, it's not stressful on the sheep as far as uh, backing up or making it dangerous for them to be trampled or or smothered or anything like that and then we come in through this uh, chute we used to have our chute going to the uh, south and we figured out years ago that because of the sun and the way it comes up in the east, obviously, it would uh, cast some shadows on the chute. So we changed, changed that about, uh, actually when Tony was a baby, about 30, 33, 34 years ago. And now we, uh, we load uh, with the sun to their backs. It used to take us about uh, three hours to load uh, four semi loads. Now you can do it in half of that time with a lot less stress on the sheep and uh, less stress, obviously, on the, on the workers. In this part of the corral, the sheep will come around the cur a curve. They love to run around a, a curved area. So as you see, the, the chute st starts wide and it, as it, it tapers in and the sheep will continue to um, narrow and run up the chute. And this just allows for uh, more efficient and less stress on the sheep. Uh, a well-maintained corral um, allows for a better product in the end. If you have a natural flowing corral, that eliminates bruising on the lambs, creates a, a, a better end product. Uh, there is no loose wires. All the boards are uh, straight and uh, there's no edges or anything where they can hurt themselves. Uh, so that maintains the, the, the best quality product for what we, what we uh, market. This is our separating chute. There's a, a concrete floor. It expands out on both sides. Uh, this makes it easier for the sheep to run down the chute. Also makes it easier for the um, people working the chute to run up and down to work the sheep, to push the sheep. These gates are separating gates. Um, they just open and close. Uh, you'll separate the sheep, for example, one, one way the ewes will go, the other way the ewe lambs will go, and another way the market lambs will go. Uh, it just makes it easier to, to separate things and, and uh, get your end product. Some of our management practices that, that help lead us to a healthy environment for this livestock is, uh, is the fact that we clean these pens and we'll run water trucks around and, and suppress the dust if we get to a point where it's too dry. Uh, most importantly is to manage that dust, you've got to get these pens cleaned on a regular basis and be willing to get in and scrape and pile and haul. And so we stay extremely active doing that because it's, it, it directly impacts the health of the livestock and that's the n number one key for us. If you don't have healthy, productive livestock, you, you're, you're getting behind already and, and you're going to end up on the losing side. Let's talk a little bit about humane handling. We strive, or I have in, in my career here, to build the kind of facility that facilitates efficient handling and in terms of easy, easily moving livestock to and from different situations, from, from say the sorting facility back to their pen and to the loading facility and so forth and it behooves us as livestock handlers to make that an easy transition for everybody involved. You're not going to find our guys hooping and hollering and shaking you know, bags and throwing rocks because I've tried pretty hard, or we have, to, to set this facility up so that it's a, a quiet, efficient, easy going operation that, that, that works. And I think that is of the utmost importance that people understand that we're not abusing animals here, we're, we're, we're trying to handle these animals as humanely as possible.